Hello! Welcome to Crafting Kitty! My name is Erin, and it's Saturday! Oh my! The week flew by in a sea of Kleenex in our house! Um, so, just give a quick update. I'm so sorry I had to cancel last week's weekly roundup. Um, but life happens. Uh, Chomps is feeling better. Poor Bingo. She just can't, can't shake the sinuses. Brian has been tested by the doctor for everything they can think of it and it all comes back negative. So we still, we don't know what it is. They say it, it definitely appears viral and you know, push your fluids, get the gunk out. And if it gets worse, come back. So that's what we're doing. I never really got that bad. I still have some sinus stuff going on, but that's, that's about it. Nothing. Brian's lungs have felt, sounded clear to the doctors. I haven't felt, felt anything in the chest. It's all head and above, neck and above. <clears throat> and I'll take that. Um, okay, enough about that. You're here for my weekly roundup. So let's check out what I did. Um, I have no completed objects again, but I am getting so close on a few. And so let's just start with the cottage core mosaic blanket. And I am so sorry. I did such an awful job in my last weekly roundup explaining what patterns I was doing. So I even think I forgot to say my own name. It was a hot mess. Um, but this is cottage core mosaic blanket. This is a crochet along that I'm doing with, um, Melissa from Melissa Crochets with Love, Angela from My Precious Yarnery, and Kim from Kim's Knit and Crochet, Crochet and Knits. Kim, knit, Kim, she knits and she crochets and she does socks. Follow her. Um, she, I'm so sorry, Kim. <laughs> um, I always think I get it right, and then I switch it in my head, and then I second guess, and then I third guess, and... <sighs> okay, the blanket. I finished the houses last week. Uh, yeah, last week. Um, so there we go. Look at that. And now I'm nearly done with the next kind of border thing. I have two more rows. So I need a row of single crochet of the anthracite, and then one more rainbow row, and I'll be done with that. And that leaves two sections left on the entire blanket. There's a, a larger panel of a flower, and then you repeat the, um, the first border section. So that's it. Whoa! So this is the Cottage Core Mosaic Blanket. Um, the pattern is by Little Green Feather. You can get it on Ravelry or Etsy. Um, I bought it through Etsy, so the Etsy pattern will be linked down below. Um, she's on Instagram. She also has a Facebook group I am not a member of, um, but I should be. Um, and yeah, so you can see all of her stuff there. She has beautiful mosaic patterns. They're gorgeous. Let me do kind of a fuller, should we start from the bottom or top? I think it's easier if we start from the top. So here we go. We've got this and a little ziggy zaggy. We've got the houses. And um, I'm using Red Heart Ombre for the main panels. Um, this is coral. Um, the brown is cocoa for these sections. The stripies, the rainbow, is Red Heart Stripes in Favorite Stripe. The gray is Ombre in Anthracite. And then I'll repeat that same yarn in this section. It's like little maybe Celtic-y knots. We got the snails! Again, I'm using the cocoa, and this was Red Heart Ombre and Sunny. We have some flowers. There we go. We got some teapots. This one, the Red Heart Ombre and Green Apple. I like to say grass, but it's green apple technically. We got the whirly gigs. We got the butterflies. Um, Red Heart Ombre has a couple of different shades of blue. This is true blue. We got some hearts. We got the mushrooms. Oh, look how adorable the mushrooms are. There's two different shades of purple. This is, I believe, the violet. Red Heart Ombre and Violet. 
and then the plus signs. And this is the one that will um, repeat as the final section as well. So I am so stoked to be nearly done with that. It's been a big project. I thought it was for me. Chomps has claimed it. What a five-year-old wants with a rainbow mosaic blanket, I will not know, but he is so sweet and he loves it. So he shall have it. Um, then I've got two other things that I can show. Um, I have been working hard on the Unicorn Utopia blanket, which is the friendship blanket that I'm doing with Ray from Ray's Yarn Addiction. We're doing that as a collab and then anyone else who wants to do rainbow or friendship themed blankets, send us pictures and we're going to have a giveaway. We're running that through December 15th. I checked my calendar. Ray, I had actually written it down. So December 15th and um, yeah, just shoot us pictures. If you want to trade, that's awesome. Um, that reminds me, Colleen, I had gotten your message. I need to talk to Ray. We might have an option for you. Um, and then what was I going to say? I've lost my train of thought. You can email us. We both have Facebook groups, plop them in the Facebook groups, whatever. Um, we are doing a blanket called the Unitorn Utopia blanket. I'll have that link down below that we got on Etsy. So we're making it, keeping them secret and then we'll send them to each other and it'll be a wonderful prize. Um, I said prize. I meant surprise. <laughs> we will give away a prize at the end. Ray has been collecting some awesome things. I am so excited. I need to start collecting some more myself. Um, but yeah, it's going to be fun. We promise. Um, beyond that, I have made progress on my cowl for every season. Um, this, I keep doing it because I've still got the dragon scale cowl in that bag because I still, I want to make it. Um, Where's the first page of this bad boy? Here we go. A cowl for every season. It's a free pattern. Um, it is, uh, where is it? By Manel, M-A-A-N-E-L. Um, I say this every time. I found it on Pinterest. I don't recall if I downloaded it, if Pinterest took me to Ravelry or to a website. Either way. I think it was to a website, if I'm honest. Um, there we go. We're good on that. You do this cowl until it is 50, 30 centimeters in length. I am on my... I'm in the middle of my fourth. They, they call it a lace repeat. It's really... It's more of a faux cabling. And I love it. Um, I've tried... Sorry, I'm trying to spread it out. So it looks nice, but I don't lose it on the needles. There you go. Oh, man. Okay, this yarn. I love this yarn. It is beautiful yarn. I made a hat with it. So I've been trying to make, I made this Ross hat with it. Turned out lovely. It is, it's lovely yarn. When I look at this in person, the cables look lovely. When I try to photograph it, it doesn't come through. I'm going to keep going with this cowl. I love the cowl. Um, I think it looks lovely in person. It's just not showing. Uh, maybe I'll... No, I don't think I'll try this cowl again in a plain color. We'll move on to a different pattern. But I will finish this. So there we go. I... I'm probably about four inches in. So put probably about another... 11-ish to go. And then I have, don't want to lose my hooks. Can't lose this hook. I still have not found the missing purple hook. So I am glad I brought, bought a new pack. Okay. Oh, what is that? Oh, that was one of my random other hooks. This is, yeah, this is the weird size one. This is the 4.25 millimeter one I have. Okay. Anyway. We're not talking about hooks. We're talking about my wild and free top from Jen Ivy and Ivy B Create. J Jen Ivy. It's the wild and free top. People also call it the Jen Ivy top. Um, it is from Jen Reeves and Ivy B Creates. The There are two live videos where Ivy goes through it. And then there is a third video where she shows you how to do 
the armholes. Um, I, uh, Ivy also has a Facebook group where a lot of people are posting it and she's helping people with it. And I had emailed and they gave me a written version of the pattern. So that might still be an option if you reach out to either Ivy or Jen. But here it is. Look at this. I am about half done with my second cake. I am using um, a Hobie Dahlia cake. Look at that color. Oh, I am in love with the color. Okay, so the Dahlia cake is 100% cotton. Hobie Dahlia. I am using color number five. It's 100% um, cotton, 200 grams, 800 meters. It's um, 874 yards. And yeah, it's a light two from Hobie. Order it from them. I am so excited. I do, based on the length, I'm thinking I'm going to need, so this is what I've got left on the current cake. I feel like I'm going to need to break into the third cake. Um, there's a Pokemon card in my project bag. <laughs> Those kids. Um, yeah, I'm I'm tall. I'm 5'8". So I like the extra length. I want it more tunic-y length almost. So what I did was I started, I have one full cake left. So I'll just show you the cake in its full form. At the top, I started from the middle, went out. On my second cake, I went from the black in. And on this third cake, I'll start from the blue and go out. Um, I'll stop when I need to, but I am tempted to just go till it's done unless it reaches ridiculous proportions. <laughs> you never know. Um, but yeah, this is so, so fun and beautiful. I love it. I think I'm showing you the join. So I'm showing you the back, but that's okay. It's virtuous, virtually indistinguishable. Nice. So I'm so excited for that. So that's like on watch for being completed. Who knows when that will be done. Um, other than that, what have we got going on tomorrow? Brian should be back with another one of his tips. Um, I believe it's going to kind of be based on last week's because he um, he didn't realize some things about Indie Yarn and Hanks. So he was, he was interested and he asked me some questions. Um, so I think it might be about that, but it might not be. Um, other than that on... No, 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 no. Okay, so tomorrow... Um, Ray had tagged me in the Are You a Hillbilly question thing. I'm going to post that tomorrow. Brian's tips will be on Monday. I will be back on Tuesday with an opening. Um, on Wednesday, we're going to start a new segment. So I'm going to be a little hush-hush, but you will see me on Wednesday. On Thursday, it's going to be one of two things, depending on if an order arrives. Did you guys see the new Caron Cakes on Michaels.com? I did. I ordered. I am so freaking excited. They had new anniversary cakes. They had 15 colors of cloud cakes, new colors of cloud cakes, not the ones from last year. Um, they had a new, I don't remember the name. They had a new chunky one, a heavy white one. And then I don't know, but I had a bunch of rewards from my last order. So I used them. We're going to get anniversary cake. We're going to get at least a couple of all of them. And we'll take a look and see. So I am hoping, hoping, hoping that order comes next week and we'll be able to open it on either Tuesday or Thursday. I don't have a shipping notice yet, though. So we'll see. I don't know. Um, on Friday, we're going to have the drawing for Brian's <laughs> sneaky video. A little scamp. Um, but yeah, remember that is the, um, he's giving away two lava cakes from his clearance hall from Michael's. It, um, 
it does contain wool. It's a 20% wool. So if you have a wool allergy, I'm, I'm very sorry. We do try to alternate our giveaways. So stay tuned. We will have one that is non-wool for the next one. Um, yeah, so stick around. We understand. Um, and then that brings us back to next Saturday for another weekly roundup. That's awesome. Okay, also remember the Fall Fest 2022 giveaway is still going on. Gail Southern Living has that playlist on her channel, so please go check out Gail, all of her awesome videos, and that playlist. Last I checked, I believe there were 68 videos on that. So many options. So go comment, see if there's any other families you want to join, go support our other YouTubers. And, um, I announced the other day our next Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight. We're going to do Glenda from Creative Grandma. So please share any pictures of makes you've made from Glenda's tutorials. Glenda has a ton of stitch tutorials where it's just a stitch. So you make a scarf, you make a blanket, you make a cowl, you make a, a dishcloth out of one of her stitch tutorials. Feel free to send them on. I want to see it all. Um... You can post on my Facebook group. I have a thread. Um, you can email me or you can post them on Instagram um, using the hashtag, hashtag KK Creator Spotlight 922. KK for Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight 922. Um, yeah, so that's that. And oh, I think we got another. I got a Facebook notice. I'll have to see what that was. I'm so excited. We've got a couple entries right now. So that's really cool. Um, I am using it as motivation to work on the uh, holiday Afghan. It's the granny square one she did a couple weeks ago. Um, so that's what I would like to do for the holidays. And there was something else I was going to say and I have completely lost my train of thought. Okay, if it comes to me, I'll talk about it tomorrow. Okay, I will see you later. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Um, next milestone giveaway for us will be at a thousand. So like, share, subscribe, do all the YouTube things, and let's have another party. Okay, bye bye.